Well, where Penn State football goes, it's fans travel with from Beaver Stadium to Kinnick Stadium to the Rose Bowl. Nittany Nation is always present, but in the last quarter century, a new wrinkle in the fan base by these three guys who, once you see them, you just know. <laughs> It's all right, it's good. Game days for John, David, and Paul Duda are different than most. It's kind of become part of who we are. The three brothers grew up just down the street from Penn State. As we got older, we started doing the, you know, parking cars and, <laughs> and taking, you know, taking booze away from college students, Saturday <laughs> college students. And then in 1992, the Duda boys had an idea. Just started wearing the masks that, that we got uh, at a garage sale after the 85 Orange Bowl. And with a 30 cent investment, three characters were born. I'm not ashamed of it, you know, I have an alter ego. Originally designed to be the 12th man, they are now known as the Big Uglies, a phrase coined by legendary sportscaster Keith Jackson. You guys look, you? Like, you look like you're ready to go. Morph the Dudas into super fan status. I think if anybody does anything, you know, at Penn State or anything else, at a certain point you're going to get recognized. Sometimes it's for something amazing, and sometimes you're just putting on tights and playing around for the weekend. Their identity, for the most part, is a secret. A lot of people don't know that it's, you know, 55-year-old guys behind these masks, and we take them off, and I'm like, whoa. And once inside Beaver Stadium, they're like any other fans, rowdy, but with a tad more enthusiasm. We used to uh, run up the stands a lot more than we do these <laughs> days. But you'll never hear those egos. Really, it's all about the fans. We're just part of that fan base, which is unbelievable. From Iowa City. To what those guys will look like when they put their Halloween masks on. To Evanston, Illinois. Those are Penn State fans, not Penn State football players. Look like former linebackers. To right here in central Pennsylvania. Do you know where your kids are today? The passion for Penn State persists. <laughs> And the brothers say the toughest part about their costume is the mask. You know, after trying to find replacements all over the internet, after one time they broke, they finally just decided to make a mold of it. And so they had to replace it probably about every four or five years, but pretty cool. And uh, they'll be there this Saturday when Penn State takes on Michigan at 7.30 p.m. We'll be right back.